funny guys, take the hat <laughs> for our American friends. Yes, I really do support MBGA and MAGA. A little bit small, but does the job. Right, uh, regarding um, regarding this European, the rape of Europe, that's what they've called it, and it's, it's pretty much right. Uh, why does it happen and why does one ideology always seem to do it? No, as far as gang offences go, this is this is people attacking large numbers of girls. Like for instance, just before Christmas, there was at least over 700 white schoolgirls targeted, and were definitely raped, and they were, they were battered, and they were given heroin and everything. Why? Why does it happen so much? When, you know, obviously I'm a middle-aged, old white man, and I've never been put in jail for attacking girls or anything. No, why is it? It always seems to be, or ninety percent of occasions, one group of people. I won't mention what group of people it is because it'll take the video off. But I think you know who I'm referring to. Who Tommy Robinson goes on about and Britain First go on about. Yeah, same group of people. Well, it's quite simple, you see, because a lot of the Christian ideology, all of it, is based upon you know, a helpless baby born to a poor 15-year-old mother, Mary, Mary Magdalene, uh, particularly the Catholics, we adore Mary. <laughs> um, but anyway, it, and basically, the people who this ideology like to attack, and whose prophets in the 7th century like to attack, are white-skinned, usually innocent, naive, virgin girls because they've always had this sick fascination about virginity and I mean look into FGM hashtag FGM go on Google Images see what they do to all their little girls to keep them pure yeah they hold them down legs apart razor blades well do I have to say anymore the screaming blood loss the girls can't walk for days they often die of sepsy what have you. this is acceptable in this savage ancient ideology I won't name it but I think you'll know what I'm talking about well, this, this leader, this 7th century leader on the Saudi Arabian Peninsula actually partaked in attacking underage girls and boys. Yeah, boys as well. <laughs> Don't forget old Hassan and Hussein. Yeah, they, they had to take, out, take that bit out of the holy book. Uh, on the holy book. Yes, because uh, it was pretty incriminating. You know, when, when a f man of 55, 56 uh, is walked in on by a few of his followers, a few of his gangsters, and he's doing disgusting things with young boys. It doesn't uh, doesn't portray a particularly good picture of your prophet, does it? <laughs> so that's if we did. It's the only section that's been altered in this unholy book for 1400 years. Uh, so basically, you see, uh, they all try to emulate this seventh-century gangster warlord, pedophile. Uh, in uh, the goes to far go so far that when he had his visions he wiped his clipper he wipes his ass with his left forefinger or leaves or whatever was lying around you know presumably not cat kisses <laughs> and um and and so they they think that's good they think this is very good this is, you, you know if you're having a dump if you're having a dump you don't have to waste money waste precious resources on toilet paper just get some grass in your left hand Give it away. That's that's accepted in this ideology. So even in all these kebab houses, <laughs> you know where this is going, don't you guys? You really do know where this is going. In all these kebab houses and curry houses and burger houses, they still do this. Never with the right hand. The right hand's the whip hand, the slave master's hand. Always in the hand, the left hand that's holding my phone. So you'll never see one of these people eating with that left hand. Never. Because that's for toilet juices. Um, get back on subject, I mean it's quite acceptable in, in this, uh, it's very supremacist, this ideology, it's totally supremacist. It's, it's more supremacist than the World War II German Nazi regime, Hitler's regime, it really is. Um, and indeed, it gave a lot of lessons to Adolf because it was the first, certainly in the 20th century, the first ideology to, to commit a holocaust to commit the genocide in a uh, google it in 1915 in turkey the armenian genocide they with great pleasure they they executed burnt alive impaled ran one of the favorite tricks i've, 
I heard about it on the video the other day of an actual witness. They used to bury toddlers in the ground up to the necks and then deliberately drive horses over them to toddlers, to, to little little Christian kids. See how much pleasure they take in it, how, how sadistic this ideology really is. So you've got the FGM, you've got the fact that it ran the human slave trade for 1450 years, which you won't find on Google, it's been hidden so well. Obviously, you know, the last couple of hundred years, America, we were involved. Fair comment. But for most of it, they were they were cutting off the men's tackle, the men's sausages and everything to stop them getting free slaves, to stop them getting free offspring. That's how savage it is. Imagine that. And seven out of ten of these castrated slaves lost their lives. They bled to death or died of shock. Hardly surprising. Poor, poor people. But they carried on doing it for 1300 to 1400 years because if they survived, not many did, but if they survived they were worth about 20 times as much as a normal slave. So does, doesn't this give you a few clues that this isn't a religion of peace, this isn't an ideology of peace? You know, the leader who cut throats and kicked them into trenches was just an early member of the Gestapo, a leader of a Nazi ideology. I mean, everything you teach is tell our kids. I mean, you you are... I blame the teachers and the fake news media for, for most of this because if you listen to Tommy Robinson or Written First or Paul Golding, people that know about this book, or me, who know about this book because we've read big sections of it, they know we're called dirty kufar, infidels, scum. They know this. It's, it's there in black and white. It's kafir, K-A-F-I-R, which is related to kafir, which is related to the N-word used, used on black whole word used on black people. A racist word. They actually, if you criticise Islam, they call you a racist. But their name for us is a racist, a deep racist insult. Isn't that ironic? <laughs> so basically everything they call us is what it is. They call us a Nazi. It is Nazi. You know, they call us racists for saying anything against darker skinned people. It is racist. It calls, it calls um, black people raisin heads, silly monkeys fit only for hard labour and castration. This is what this is what it says in their unholy book. So uh hope you like me Maga hat Maga hat. Uh been meaning to get one made for a while. Um but mo locally made. But uh, you uh, you will find in the UK and Europe a great many people really admire President Trump because he talks straight, he calls a spade a spade. You know, he's he's not taking this rip off. I mean, and Americans and to some extent also have been ripped off decades. Turns out, you know, Germany, Germany, who, who are better off than us financially and export cars all over the world, Audi, Sweet they were paying half what the British Isles was paying into, into NATO. We were paying, they were paying 1.1%, we were paying 2.2%. For all these years, all these years, and they've been pouring their money into car factories and, and Importing these savages. Well, it's too late now. They've realised the mistake now. Merkel's on the way out. The whole of Europe's go, is moving to the right because these left wingers, these Labour people, they've really uh, they've sold us down the river, haven't they? They've sold our culture down the river. They've sold my kids' land down the river. You know, it's never going to be the same again. There's too many of them here and they're outbreeding us at 6 7 to 1. So I fully expect in horrible to think. I, I fully expect in my children's lifetime that they will probably do what we did to the Armenians and they will have death camps. They will have death camps to, to wipe us out. And if and when the British Isles, the United Kingdom, does become a Sharia Republic, what do you think the Americans are going to have to do? They're going to have to take out any any intercontinental or, or you know, shorter range nuclear uh, capability we've got, they'll have to nuke us or nuke Faslane because they're going to have a giant, well armed Iran right on the doorstep, you know, within like five minutes missile range. Do you think they're going to stand for that? I don't think so. So, uh, please support um, Britain First. Uh, I do, I do. I'm uh, I'm a regular, regular uh, protester, as a few of you guys already know. Um, you know, I'll put a link on the knees, try and give me a few quid, or, or uh, join the Tommy Robinson business. Um, the Americans tried the best to help, I know that, and I, we do appreciate it. And lots of thanks as well to uh, to um, Rebel Media and um, 
or some of the play the place at uh, Middle East Forum in America for, for helping Tommy out with the stage and what have you. Uh, they were actually shouting in London the other day. I'll, I'll put it on video, but it'll probably get taken off. They were actually shouting, USA, USA, USA. But you don't, you don't, you don't hear about it in America, do you? Tom, 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 Tom. We were saying this all the other day outside the Old Bailey in London. So you guys, have a good one. And don't believe fake media lies, it's a lot of balls. A lot of balls. See ya, bye bye.